Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Hakobo. Um, I've been on vacation, so I haven't made a video in a couple of weeks, so I figured I'll make quite a few. Um, I'm going to come out with a pretty cool speed modeling tutorial um, where I make a sort of a castle type thing in um, about 80 minutes, but speed it up so it'll probably be under 10, so uh, I think there'll be a lot of things you what you do a lot of making. Um, so I'd like to talk about three different techniques. Um, all of them work pretty well. Anyways, let's get started. Um, one thing that can be really helpful is and use that uh, for reference. You can also make a circle and you can size it up however you want. Then uh, you can go in um, with your uh, create polygon faces and kind of um, yeah and just lay out this really helps you kind of get that arc shape um, and we could do yeah touch those anyway so that works pretty well and if you've already got an object using reference it is a pretty good tool kind of have a little tutorial on that earlier anyways um, another way crank up the number of subdivisions up to 50 just in case you want it you can actually type in more if you want we, I think 50 will be fine and you can kind of uh, use soft select which I hadn't thought about like another thing you could do is sort of select every sixth one or whatever and kind of move these all up but with soft select I'll show you in a second you can actually create sort of some fall off um, yeah I'd probably count those so they're more exact if you double click here uh, you, ha you then will be given extremes so I'm going to turn on soft select kind of turn down the curve and you can use your B key by a little bit and then hitting the W key then you can kind of create these cool sort of see it it's kind of mirroring a arc and um, could be used for yeah creating arches and something round so that's that's a handy feature I think it's very helpful to know about um, yeah turn off soft select here um, so that works really well too but the last and make a pipe um, I like thickness 0.25 that looks good 30 works pretty well um, yeah, these settings look pretty good. I'm going to create, actually rotate that 90 off, and select these and delete them, um, actually, yeah, or maybe one below. Delete those, then you can select these edges, then polygons, mesh, fill hole like that so that's a pretty nice arch um, then you could extrude these down another thing that I use quite a bit go to vertex and select maybe the first um, then do the same for the other side scale them in like, like that just about to zero then select all these top ones and you can scale that down and that's pretty cool now the new tool that I hadn't really used before now I love it it's called the mirror cut tool I think it's under mesh mirror cut anyways what you can do it'll actually mirror it and then actually merge the vertices for you so you could always do like a duplicate and you know move it over and merge those vertices together but this will do it for you so you can work really quickly um, so, actually, I want it to be set up um, where I could maybe I'll rotate. This would be the easy yet again, and pretty soon, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'll just do this one more time so I can kind of show you the wrap. But yeah, you can quickly go to. I think I was doing a really detailed one with 64, and you know, within a couple of minutes, I had this really detailed long, long arch. Uh, like that. 
And, um, and you can fill that hole however you want that back area. Anyways, if you go to animation, um, you can create a nonlinear bend, a rotation, 90. Wraps it around like that. I have it set so it goes 3.14. Think of pi. You can go and merge those. Um, and I probably would have filled up the backs, but that's really cool. It creates arches all the way around. It is pretty neat. So that's three different techniques, and I'm sure you'll be able to find ways to use all of those. But yeah, arch arches are really nice. So I, I really like using the pipe. I mean, cylinder can work well too, but pipe is really nice.